This is the Mississippi Art Colony. Now, if you Google it, you won't find an address for it. There's no physical location for the art colony, except for two weeks every year, when they meet here at Camp Henry Jacobs in Utica, during which each of these talented travelers claim their space and set up their studio for the week. But this is more than a retreat. It is an excursion on many levels for these artists to desert home and kin in order to surround themselves with another family, a kinship of like spirits, as if they were batteries all aligned and plugged into a charger. Well, I paint every day, but uh, it is a time of concentrated painting, but primarily I enjoy being with fellow artists, time of talking shop, seeing what other people are doing because we paint various styles, uh, totally different from each other, and um, just a time of being with uh, some of the best painters in, in the state. The Mississippi Art Colony is the oldest artist-run association of its kind in the nation, according to the Smithsonian Institution, 70 years old this year. And it was organized so some of the amazingly accomplished artists in Mississippi could get some recognition. There was no Facebook back then, after all. So as a means of allowing the artists, masters and novices, a chance to get to know each other and learn from each other, the art colony was formed. I believe that the purpose is to bring purpose. <laughs> We all have that common bond, the thing that we do, that sometimes in our communities at home we don't have. And, um, but here, we always find it. And you get away from everything. I, I couldn't tell you what's going on in the news in the last four days. The next excursion after this week is for these artists to go back home to the isolation of their studios to create. But renewed with the purpose of being a member of the Mississippi Art Colony and the energy that that type camaraderie bestows. Go ahead, sure. You can talk. Um, remember when I said that the best of the best is here? Mm -hmm.